speed up your traction waveform workflow even more, or just make things easier for yourself by changing these seven things. Be sure to stick around for the last one because it affects the sound of every single project that you work on in waveform. Now, the first thing that we'll look at is when you first open Traction Waveform, by default, I think it opens to this page, at least it did for me anyway, and this is your welcome screen. This might be fine for you, but personally, I like it to open to the projects page because I can see all my projects in there and I can easily access them all from within there. And if you want to change it to this, you can easily go into settings, then go down to general, and then you'll see up here, it says startup and Upon launch, you can click on that and you would change it from welcome tab to the project tab, or you could have it open in settings or the last viewed tab. So whatever you want in there, I like to have the projects tab. And now every time you open up traction waveform, it's going to be on the projects tab, which for me really helps things. And now while we're here in this startup section, let's move on to the next thing that I would change. And that's unchecking this box right here, which is upon launch, reload edits. So by default for me anyway, this was enabled. You want to disable this because what typically happens is you'll be working on a project like this and you'll save it of course, and then you'll close waveform down the whole program without closing the project first. Now, the next time you go to open waveform, it's going to load this project. And if it has a ton of plugins on there and lots of stuff recorded in, it's going to take a while for that to load. Maybe that's not the project that you opened Waveform to work on. Maybe you wanted to work on a whole new project or open something totally different, but you're going to have to wait for this one that you forgot to close to fully load before you can close it again. So this might be a big help for you if you just want to jump into Waveform and start recording something new and you forgot to close that project down. Now, the third setting that I recommend changing is disabling the automatic background preview that it creates. And what that is, is this little thing right here. So if we open up the projects tab, some of our projects, if you haven't changed the setting, all of your projects will likely have this and you can quickly listen. So you can easily listen to what that project's all about. Maybe you forgot what it was and you just want to check it out. You can quickly do that from right here without opening the project. It's a very cool idea, but what happens is when you close a project, it's automatically generating this preview file, which means it's rendering down your whole project to the preview file. And this can take a little while and sometimes it bogs down your computer. So if you've closed waveform down and you've noticed your computer's really sluggish afterwards, that's because it's doing this. So we can easily hop over to settings. Again, we'll go into the general tab here and then scroll down to saving. And then in this section here, you want to go to generate audio preview files automatically. And you want to make sure that's unchecked. So if you uncheck that, it's no longer going to create that preview when you close your project. Now, another automatic rendering setting that you might want to change is when we go to the render window. So I'm just going to open that up, go to file, export, render to a file. We click on that. And by default, I'm pretty sure this render automatically is enabled. And when that's enabled, as soon as we open up this window, it's starting to render your entire project down. If it's a big project, lots of plugins, it's going to slow your computer down and it's just rendering with whatever settings we have set up here. And it's rendering to whatever the default folder is. Maybe you want to change that. Well, if your computer's slowed right down, it takes a while to just go in here, browse, and then change the folder. And it's still, it's rendering a file that's not going to be needed. You can see it's rendering it again, just because it thinks I changed something. And again, if we, I did change something, sometimes I like to render to mono. If I'm just rendering down a bass guitar or something, sometimes I like to change the sample rate and some of these other settings in here. So if you just click on that, disable it, you're not going to have this auto rendered file in here. Then you can go in and manually set your settings here if you want change the folder if you want. And once it's unchecked, you don't have to do it for every project. It's just going to remain unchecked until you check it again. All right, so this next setting is really a personal preference thing. You may want to keep the default setting or you may want to change it to this. And it's about the cursor behavior. So if I click in here, say I want to start playback right there. 
you can see when I stop, it brings the cursor back there. That's the way I like it to be, but I'm pretty sure by default, at least when I first started with waveform, the default setting would be more like this. So I click here, press play, stop, and it stops the cursor right where I stopped the song playback. And then if I press play again, it continues right from that spot. Now, I like to go in and just work on specific little spots like this. So I like to start it, stop, start, stop, and just continue listening to a part over and over again, which is hard if I have to keep clicking something like that. So what you want to do is go into options here. So if this menu's collapsed, looks like this, you want to click on the arrow, then go into options and return to start on stop. We'll click on that and it goes back to wherever I started the playback from. And for me, that's a big thing. Maybe it's because of other DAWs that I worked in and that was the behavior of them. It's a really easy setting to turn off and on so you can try it out, see if you like it this way or if you like it the default way better. Now, another must enable feature for me is the count in when you're recording. So typically by default, when we hit record, it just starts recording right away. It doesn't give you time to get ready to start recording after you hit the button and you want to start recording your guitar and get ready or sing, whatever. There's no time after you hit record. So what we can do is we can go down and right click right here where it says click and you go to count in and you can see you have some options here, one bar, two bars, or just two beats. Now, usually I like two bars, but one bar's even enough. So now when we click on record, watch what happens. It counted in for a full bar before the actual recording, and that gives us time to get ready to start recording. It just gives us a little count in so we can even get the tempo down by listening to the clicks. Now, this next setting is something that you probably should change on every single project that you open. And I typically do this as the first thing when I open a project. And that is you want to open the bottom menu if you have it collapsed. And then you want to click over here on your meter. So you just click there and you can see the volume is at minus 3 dB. And it's like that by default on every single project that you open. You can easily just click reset volume to zero DB and it brings it to zero DB. There's probably a cool and interesting reason why they do that. But for me, I like to be in control of all of my levels and I would just do my mixing. So my levels are below whatever the threshold that I like it to be. So just try to get into the practice of when you open up a project, you just go to here, reset volume to zero DB. And now what you'll want to do is check out these five waveform workflow tips to help speed things up even more. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for audio tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating fist bump. Thumbs up.